Hey guys, um, had some Kydex delivered yesterday and started making a, a sheath for the um, for my FFBM, my bussy FFBM. Um, I'll show you that in just a sec. Um, made some modifications on my Nuclear Meltdown Special Forces sheath. Um, I don't know if you can remember this one. This is the sheath. Um, basically all I done was kind of took a, <laughs> took a V out of the sheath. There you go. When you put the blade back in, you have this little recess kind of thing where you can, I don't know, kind of. Uh, if you need to cut um, any powder cord or anything. Ugh, my knife is very blunt at the moment, but it does cut. There you go. And you can use it as that. And with a fire lighter, you can also. There you go. You can use it as that. I thought that was quite a cool, cool little thing. Yeah. Um, basically all it is. Um, my FFBM sheath. This is still work in progress. This still needs to be tidied up a bit. But basically this is it. I ain't going to get it all in camera. I'll take the knife out for sure. This is the, the sheath. I have little belt loops there. Uh, a, couple of, a couple of holes. I'm still working out where I should put them. Um, I found the FFBM was kind of quite a difficult knife to make a sheath for. So you can see it's not perfectly straight, but it'll do. Um, purely because of these little humps and ridges along here, and it's quite a wide handle. So um, and especially this little bit. So I had to kind of um, cut out the top. For the um, humps and bumps to go into, and this bit is a bit, a little bit wider. It's kind of hard to get back in, but it does go in with a, with a bit of force. But you know, it's not going to come out. It's not going to go anywhere, and it hasn't got the bindings in it or anything at the moment to rivet it together. It's all still open. Uh, as you can see, it's all kind of just needs to be tidied up a bit. Sand it down. All this is done by hand. I got no machines or anything, so all these holes, they're all drilled by, by a drill, obviously. But I got no machine, machines to sand it down. They're all sanded and it's all smoothened by hand. So um, I have, uh, I have some tech locks. These are the large tech locks. I didn't realize how quite how big they were. I have two of these. Um, all the mountain hardware. I have some. Let me find them. I have some black, black eyelets, but I don't have the um, the flaring dies. Um, I think they'll be getting some of those on my next pay slip, my next paycheck, and then hopefully finish off, finish off the sheath. But I'm quite proud of it. I think it's pretty cool. For what I've done by hand. And get some more mounting, some more holes in it to mount in various ways. Um, do a bit of a, that's the belt loop. Not a belt loop, sorry, like a, a leg strap hoop or something. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. Quite chuffed with it. It's turned out pretty well. Oh, clicks in nice and loud, and I do have um, two other sheets, like 24 by 12, so I'll be doing a couple more things, maybe make a couple more sheets or something, or, I don't know, including my fire steel or something, I don't know, so, um, uh, cheers for the, watching my videos, and again, all to um, new subscribers, and I'll um, see you again in the next videos, cheers guys.